The RRI Pick 6 contest last week. I am sitting here, king of the hill, 5-1, and one, feeling oh, good, but you're only as good as the very next week. You can't look in the rearview mirror. Kyle went 4-2. Right. We're profitable out here. Kelsey's going to come in and have some fun with this. Now, we're switching up Kelsey from Tuesday to Thursday because she is going to be going coast to coast, moving to Arizona, but we still wanted to have her on the show this week to make sure we heard what her Pick 6 would be, what she saw from the previous weekend. So let's bring in Kelsey Kramer, our newest superstar here at sportsbookreview.com and Kelsey how are you doing this week I'm doing good but I had a better entrance than that huh. okay. <laughs> I like it I like yeah. it yeah. that's for us Johnny that's for us. Oh, beautiful. Owen, two, I'm Owen too. You're Owen too. We're down in the dumps. And the one thing we can all rejoice on sometimes is, look at that. You're going to get the Atlanta Falcons to do me a favor since I'm down in the dumps to knock off the Cowboys. And I'm watching the football game, laughing. I'm loving it. Boy, it's going to be a nice Monday because at least my squad lost, but Dallas is going to lose. They get the win. And the worst part about it, Kelsey, in the pick six, I had the Dallas Cowboys at minus four and a half. Not only did they win, I didn't cover awfulness awfulness i took the over in that game so at least i won something but it was awful it was it was definitely an embarrassment so we'll see how long dan quinn stays stays in town it's the yeah, race. I, it's the race I, to I don't be know how much first. longer he can i mean I, yeah. dan quinn might be doing the show with us by next right. week <laughs> and and how about the story of the day drew Brees demoted from stud muffin to scrub muffin that and, did not take long that's a um, short leash that's that a short was leash. that was embarrassing i had I had Saints going. I think we all did, right? Oh, yeah. No, uh, yeah. Uh, no, uh, no Donnie uh, had the uh, way. No. I was on the Death Star. No, I was on right. that Death Star right here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, I wish they threw it to cook more. <clears throat> I think we all had that one, too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that hurt. No, that no hurt a little bit. Too. By the way, I think you could probably throw the football, Kelsey, or farther than Drew Brees can at this. Hit. But hey, look, me and Drew Brees can look in the mirror. We're the same age, and I can barely get up the steps, and he's playing pro <laughs> football. So something a little bit different here. But let's get to some pick six contest. Last week, Kelsey, six picks. Obviously, you had them. How did you do last week overall? Uh, three and three. So it's a step up from week one, but not not where I want to be yet. No building blocks. That's what we look. Hey, look, you, you come on. You're a little bit nervous week one. You come on week two. You're ready to go. You're three and three. Now we need to expect a winning week in week. And now also, you know, we're actually going to get two for the money was a uh, movie out there. Al Pacino, gambling. Sure. You know, they would, Brandon Lang would pick the games like three weeks before. He was so good. So now we got you on a Tuesday. Your card's already right. ready for this weekend coming. Like, you're yeah. just like, you know what? I don't have to worry about it. I'm going to take the weekend for myself and not even stress. It's that easy this week. So let's go over some of your first picks. Go over your first game that you're looking at this weekend, Kelsey. All right, we're looking at the uh, Dolphins and Jags. I'm taking the Jags. There you go. So we're taking the Jags. And I can't fault because my credo in life in the NFL is do not take a road team on Thursday night football. And yeah. you are going by that credo. Jacksonville, we talked about it early in the show. I like Jacksonville in this game. We think there's going to be some points. Kyle, you like Jacksonville in this, don't I, you? Yeah, I like Jacksonville. Minshew mania. Maybe we'll elevate yeah. Gardner Minshew up to stud muffin status for this week. <laughs> Someone's got to take over. It's not Someone's Kyle yet. It's not me. Exactly. It's, we, we said it was Flash. I think we talked about early on. He's taking over the banner here at SBR for us. So there we go. Yeah. A lot of, lot of, yep. lot of good notes here out in the chat box for Kelsey here, but also Joseph Goma says Donnie about to send Drew Brees some of that monster energy. He needs look. Take one before the game. Take one at halftime. You'd be good to go, Drew. All ready to do it. But right. nobody loves stats more than Drew Brees, and it was evident right. at the end of that at the end of that football game. So let's keep moving in the pick six contest. Now I know. After two weeks of watching the Atlanta Falcons, there's no way we're going to take the Atlanta Falcons in the pick six. You're fading them all the way, aren't you? You know, I, I said I wouldn't put my heart into it, but I think I'm putting my heart and head into this one. <laughs> I, it's their week. I'm calling it their week. Even the article that I just wrote, it's it's for the Falcons. So um, week three is, is for them. They're back home. Um, and the Bears, the Bears, I their, their defense is, is good. And, Falcons offense might struggle with that, but I think their offense is, is definitely better than than the Bears and um, the Falcons defense. It's, it's going to be easier for them this week to stop the Bears. You know, what, Kyle. Yeah. You know what? I 
You know what I saw in this game, Kyle, which I thought was interesting? I saw a tweet come out today that said the Atlanta Falcons are going to start letting fans in October 11th. I got news for you. If Atlanta is like 0-5 <laughs> by October 11th, don't be, yeah, don't be surprised if they come out with a statement like, hey, it's yeah. just not safe for fans in here because I think the fans would come there and put yeah. paper bags on their heads and try to get after Dan Quinn. So back yeah. on I, – I can't fault it because I am part of the club. I'm You're the ultimate Eagles fan. Yeah, I'm the ultimate hater in all sports. I don't care what color, what race, whoever you are, I love to hate on people, and I love to hate Mitchell Trubisky. So even if I might be trying to back Mitchell Trubisky, somebody fading him along with me feels really good. So I'm glad that you're on that same side. Let's keep moving down the list. Now, the team that stung me last week, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to sit down. I'm going to just get off the air on Sportsbook Review from our NFL show on Sunday. I'm going to watch my Philadelphia Eagles. The Rams came in here and just stole my heart and left town. What are we looking at this week between the Buffalo Bills and the Los Angeles Rams, Kelsey? Taking the Rams on the East Coast again. Okay. Um, McVay's been been doing well on going traveling in time zone um, to different time zone since 2017, and I had high hopes for the Bills, but after last week letting Miami get 28 on them, I don't know. <laughs> Well, it was a weird game in that game. Remember, yeah. they had the delay at the half with the lightning and uh, oh, let's make excuses. typical Miami. Yeah. yeah, it was a late backdoor <laughs> nonsense, and uh, that one really up. So, maybe any concerns about the Rams' running back situation with Acres and Brown being banged up? Maybe they have to rely more on Daryl Henderson going to the East. You make a great point about McVeigh being terrific going from the West Coast to the East Coast. Uh, mm-hmm. Two weeks in a row to Buffalo. Uh, this is where we're our first disagreement of the show so far. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to that game. I mean, it should be too. a really good game. And Sean oh, McVay is hot. Yeah, Kelsey, and we, I brought up a point earlier. You know, no crowd noise here. He's able to call the play in the Jared Goff, make the adjustments at the line of scrimmage. Every single person on the Rams last week was wide open against the Philadelphia Eagles. So it was almost like they had a little bit of Patriots mojo going, like they knew exactly what was about to happen. Now, we saw a great football game on Sunday night between the New England Patriots and the Seattle Seahawks coming up now this weekend. You're seeing the Seattle Seahawks taking on – the Dallas Cowboys. It should be an offensive show, but I know you have a side in this game. Which way are you looking, Kelsey? Um, I, I was leaning towards the Cowboys, but after you know going over the Falcons game, like they were, they weren't that good. They won. They won in a senseless and a stupid play. Um, but Seattle, I got Seattle. Uh, their defense is their defense is fire. And I, yeah, Russ. Yeah, I Dallas agree. Booking out here. Yeah. I mean, it's You're bad there, coaching in Northwest Dallas. Yeah, look, at, look what Mike McCarthy did. Two punts. Going for <laughs> two punts in your own. I mean, Mike McCarthy is the worst head coach that has ever graced the sideline, and it annoys me that he's got a ring. But I, I just can't see them beating that Seattle Seahawks team in Seattle, so I completely agree. I like Seattle. No. Yeah, you're right about Mike McCarthy, too. When you look at that, he goes for two when you didn't need to go. The whole key to the NFL oh. is extending the game to always give you a chance to win. He goes for two. They're down nine. I'm, I'm like, yeah, that's so Cowboys. They're not going to win this game. And we all saw how ridiculous it was at the end of that football game. Now, also, we saw a game last night, Drew Brees struggling. But we know how good Drew Brees is in prime time down in the Dome. But, again, no fans are going to be in the Dome in this one. Great game on Sunday night football here, Kelsey. Green Bay Packers and yeah. Aaron Rodgers, R-E-L-A. AX coming to town. Are you taking Aaron Rodgers in the discount double check or are you going with the stud? I'm going with the scrub. Scrub muffin. Scrub muffin. I, oh, yeah, I know. This game makes me really nervous, though. I might change my mind um, come game day, but right now, I can't get, I can't get away from Breeze. Um, and if Mike Thomas is in the game, it's definitely gonna, gonna make it more more fun for them but Aaron Jones went off last week thank goodness for my fantasy team uh, but yeah so Saints and I think they have what it takes to stop Jones and the Lions didn't so yeah and the Saints at home you drew Brees at home I, I I'm big on put I've I've made plenty of money throughout my uh well longer life than it's uh, you know than I look hopefully but uh Drew Brees at home you make money betting Drew Brees at home. He's just so, so much better at home. It's weird, and I know there's no fans. We even saw it week one against Tampa Bay, right? Great week one in Tampa Bay. Goes on the road. Looks like crap. Bounces back against a bad Green Bay defense at home. You know what I want to see in this game, too, because I thought one of the more funnier things in NFL history, I believe when he broke the touchdown passing record, they gave him like a piece of paper and somebody just scribbled like a 350 on it for like whatever his touchdown pass was and gave it to him and he held it up. So we'll see if that goes on. But again, no fans are going to be down in the dome. We know how well he does play at home. And Kelsey brings up a great point. 
That offense is completely different when Michael Thomas, who you can triple team, and somehow he's still wide open, doesn't play in a football game. You saw as that went over from the first quarter, which they dominated, to the second quarter, third quarter, and fourth quarter. They just didn't have that guy at wide receiver, third and seven, third and eight, you can get the football to. Alvin Kamara was as outstanding, and he's going to be back on turf, so it'll be interesting to watch that football game play out. Last game we're going to talk about here, and why not? One of the better games of the week, maybe the game of the year on Monday Night Football, which we will be here live from Monday Night Football right here on Sports. Sportsbook.com on the live betting show. That's Patrick mm-hmm. Mahomes, and that is Baltimore's Lamar Jackson. Are we looking at a side in this game? We're we looking at points in this game, Kelsey. Where are we going on your pick six selection here? I, uh, I definitely, I want these guys to have fun. I'm going with the over, over 53. Um, the Ravens are looking. I think they're going to win, but they're definitely the better team right now. And and Mahomes struggled, struggled last week, um, but. This is going to be an exciting game. Definitely. I think it's going to be the most. Well, we'll see. I think it's going to be the most exciting. But um, oh, obviously absolutely. football's been surprising. So. Absolutely. And the Chargers oh, and historically give Patrick Mahomes trouble. That secondary is very, very good in L.A. Now, it's another good secondary in Baltimore. But I think that's the smart play is to bet the totals on this one because these are two great teams that could go either way. It's so weird to see a plus number next to Kansas City. It's so weird to see it, even though they're on the road. But uh, I like the over on. The, I like the over fifty three as well. Patrick Look, Queen. Yeah. Patrick Mahomes yeah. and Patrick McQueen are not going to be yeah. The one thing that Maryland does yeah. really well is crab cakes and football. If you can find that reference from a movie, that is extra right. bonus points here at sportsbookreview.com. But with interesting pick six weekend, that's going to be on the head. I don't really make my picks till like, you know, Wednesday or Thursday. Had a really good week last week. Kyle had a good week. And look, we were so we were winning five and one, four, two, three and three. Isn't that what you tune in for? You tune in for the information because we're a team. Like I could say, look, I'm five and one. I'm going to leave these guys back in the dust. But don't you worry. There'll be one week <laughs> I'm going to go one and five and be like guys yeah. you saved me it was so awesome and you're gonna go you he's doing it behind the scenes week? yeah exactly yeah. behind the scenes i'm like look i can't be with these two on air because I'm five <laughs> exactly. and one. i need to shine i need <laughs> exactly. a bigger see how we're all equal on the screen right here i need the bigger shot you guys can have the two smaller spots <laughs> no, right. no, no, i just i just kid joke around but I'll by the way the smallest there you go <laughs> by the way well thursday we understand that you're moving to arizona is that correct yeah gonna be a big cards fan huh there we uh, go. Love Kyler Murray this year. He's my <laughs> fantasy quarterback, and he's winning me games 2-0 and so far. Hope you have a well, safe trip. Uh, we all you wish guys. you here the best here, and yeah. we'll see you next week on Thursday, so yeah. that'll be cool. And So yeah. have a nice, safe trip, and uh, I like the picks this week. I think you're going to have a good week this week.